Hey, this is Jeremy from Production Den. So glad to have you on the channel with me today. Today we're gonna to be talking about recording vocals and acoustic guitar at the same time. Before we jump into that, I'd love for you to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you can get alerted every time there's a new video. Let's jump in. I think one of the keys to getting this right is to do a lot of prep work in order to make this go smoothly. So one of the first things that I like to do is actually record a demo version of the track, just putting a phone down on a desk and recording yourself singing and playing the acoustic guitar at the same time. And then I will bring that into FL Studio to set up the project. So I'll open up the folder that has that in there and then I'll just drag the WAV file directly onto the playlist. And then what I'll end up doing is throwing on a pair of headphones and listening through it. And I will open up this um, tap tempo by right clicking on the metronome here up at the top and put tap. And so as it's playing along, I'm gonna click along with it to really find out what the tempo is for that song so that I can set the project to that. So when I record, I can record to a metronome and make sure that everything's online or on the grid. So I'll listen through it and tap to it as I'm doing that. So everything's sitting around 72. So I'm gonna set the project at 72 and then I can just go ahead and mute out that track. But that will give me the point of reference for where I can put down the guitar and the vocal at the same time. I'll be able to sing to that metronome. So if I, if I turn the metronome on in the background, it'll be playing. So that'll give me something to work with as I'm recording both the vocal and the guitar. And chances are you're gonna have to keep that kind of low so it doesn't bleed into the mic as you're actually recording that. But it's a really good way to make sure that you're setting yourself up to be able to do a lot more with the project later on. So if you wanna record other instruments or put in some drums or do anything else, you have a lot more flexibility that way if you've recorded so that you're matching up to a tempo for the project. So then the next piece that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the mixer and then I just need to set up dedicated channels for the vocal and for the guitar. And you'll notice with the acoustic guitar, I plug it in with a quarter inch cable and do the recording with that first. I'm singing into the vocal mic and I don't wanna set up another mic for the guitar because I don't wanna have to deal with the bleed between those two mics. And there's lots of videos that can show you how to do that if you wanna do that. But the way that I end up finding that it works for me best is I'll record my vocal with a condenser mic. I'll do the direct plug-in for my acoustic guitar and do those first two passes. And then I will go back with the condenser mic and set that up to actually record the acoustic again. All right, so now we got the tempo dialed in for the demo track, and now we're gonna go ahead and set up the tracks for the mixer so that I can record the vocal and the acoustic guitar. And then I'll show you how I set up my project so that all the audio files will be in the same folder as well as the actual project file. And then I will show you how I've configured everything else. So let's jump into that. So. In the mixer, I'm gonna go down here to an empty mixer track. Let's call it mixer track insert seven. I'm gonna come over to this side and I'm going to select the first input on my audio interface, which I have set up for the vocal. And then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna press F2 and I'm gonna type in vocal for that one. Then I'm gonna go to the track beside it, which is track eight. I'm gonna press F2. I'm gonna put guitar on that one. And then I'm gonna come over here and select the second input on my audio interface. And that's where I always have the guitar plugged in for my audio interface. So channel one is my vocal, channel two is the guitar. And then the next thing that I like to do to set up my projects is to actually go into the settings. I'll press F10 and that will bring up the actual general settings window. I'll go over to project, which is that tab right there and I will click on this data folder and I'll click the little folder icon right here. And when I do that, it's gonna bring up this folder structure. And what I will do is to go where I'm gonna be storing this project. So for this one, I'm storing it under this folder and it says, do you wanna save this current project in the folder? I say yes. And so now what it's saying is the project is stored in that folder and everything that I record is going to go into that folder as well. So when we come down here, 
to where the arm for record button is, if we right click on that two times, it's going to bring up that folder that we just put together. And so the first one is gonna be the vocal scratch track. So I'll name it that, so vocal scratch. And then the second one, I'm gonna click on twice, I'm gonna arm it, and I'm gonna call it Guitar Scratch. So now I have both of these audio files armed and ready to record. I know exactly where they're gonna be recorded to, and I know exactly what I've named them. So now that everything's set up, I'll need to sing into the microphone to get a good level. And like I've talked about before, I'm looking for it to be about midway on that meter so that I know that I have a good signal coming in, but it's not coming in too hot. And then I'll do the same kind of thing for the guitar. I'll adjust the volume on the preamps for the audio interface to make sure that I get those set correctly so I'm getting a good level coming in. So as I arm everything for recording, let's go up here to the top of the transport panel and I'll show you how to set that up. So instead of the pattern mode, we want to be in song mode because that's going to take us down to the playlist where everything's at. Uh, I have my tempo set up, I have my metronome coming on, and I have a count in set up to where it's going to count off on the metronome four times before it actually starts recording. And then I just need to make sure when I right click on the recording button that the audio is checked and then you're basically ready. So you'll pick up your guitar, you'll get in front of your microphone, You'll have your headphones on to be listening to the metronome and then you will sing and play the guitar at the same time. And when you're done, you'll just press the space bar and you should see two of the tracks show up in track two and track three on the playlist. And that will be your scratch tracks for your demo that you're putting together. I want to feel closer to you mm -hmm. I want to feel closer to I want to feel closer to Hopefully that was helpful for you to be able to see how I record vocal and acoustic at the same time if I need to. I also have some other videos on the channel that will show you how to record other instruments like bass, guitar, or electric, and I will leave those in the description section. If you have any comments or questions about how I was doing what I was doing today, leave those in the comment section below, and I will see you in the next round.